What's up guys? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. And today we're talking about slip joints. But not any slip joint. We're talking about modern slip joints or modern traditionals or mod trads if you're uh, really super hip like I am. Um, so let's check them out. Subscribe to the channel. I don't know why you're not. Uh, look down below. Subscribe if you're not. And follow me on Instagram too. Duty's underscore daggers. So up here we have some uh, modern traditionals and some slip joints, or in some slips rather. Come on, Kev, get it together. Um, these are slips that I've made. This is uh, an organizer that I made for my uh, Fisher Space Pen and my Cuvist Vanish. This is a slip that I made for my QSP Hedgehog. Another slip I made for my Ohio River Jack. I just put the D backwards, so uh, kept that one for myself. Wasn't making it for uh, for a buddy, but yeah, decided to keep that one. And then the uh, Ohio River Jack, uh, low drag jack. So these are uh, examples of some pretty popular modern traditional knives. Um, slip joints have kind of been making a comeback in recent months, uh, maybe years. Uh, it seems like mostly this last year, though. They've really made a comeback, um, and I'm digging it, man. I really am. Uh, I kind of got into modern slip joints, modern traditionals first, and then started getting into some GEC, some case, uh, you know, stuff like that, some, like, true traditional stuff. Um, and I love those very much. Uh, and I also love some modern stuff. I, I just I like them all. So, um, But today we're talking about some modern traditionals. So, let's get them out. Or, I guess we'll talk about them one by one. Let's do that. So, the Cuvist Vanish. This is the smallest of the bunch, and um, I really love this thing. Titanium. Um, this is one that, uh, he had these on his website, and you could pay an extra 10 bucks for some engraving. Uh, so, I chose to do that. Really nice engraving on both sides. This looks really nice. This titanium has been bronzed, uh, anodized, uh, kind of bronzed kind of dealio. Um, and then we have a black wash blade, sheep's foot. It's the same pattern as his, um, you know, PE two and three, but just shrunken down in a slip joint form. Um, it's a very useful blade shape. Um, I've always liked the swayback kind of design. This is not a traditional swayback, but it's, it's a swayback. You know, you have this kind of uh, butt of the knife that comes up and then the tip of the knife that comes down. And uh, for me, that works great because the tip kind of swells up and hits right in your palm right here in the pinch grip, just hits right there. Pointer finger goes out to the tip of the blade and you're ready to cut. Uh, it just works really good. Um, 20 CV blade steel on this guy. This was a hundred bucks. I think a great, great deal. Uh, the walk and talk is excellent on this guy. Just Oh, so, so good. That's one thing with all these knives here. The walk and talk is just excellent. Uh, just excellent on them. I don't know if it's because of the titanium, maybe. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, all of these just have really, really satisfying, nice uh, walk and talk. Um, yeah, listen to that snapshot, man. Oh, I love it. Perfectly centered. Um, this is an excellent, excellent knife. Um, so easy to just toss in the pocket. I love it in this little organizer. You know, it's a great pair. They look good together. Um, you know, it's just, it's a small pen and knife combo that uh, I really, really dig. You can tell by the condition of this that I've been carrying it quite a lot. Um, yeah, I just really like it. Um, I guess we'll put this up here. There we go. Next, the QSP Hedgehog. This is one that hasn't come out of my pocket really um, almost at all since I got it um, a week or two ago. Just wiping off the wiping off the blade here. Um, this is an excellent, excellent slip joint. Um, this is made by QSP, um, who also makes the Ohio River Jacks. Um, and it's the titanium version. You can get this in Micarta, uh, or I think Fat Carbon, a few Fat Carbon versions as well. 
Um, but traditional pocket knives is the one that has the uh, jigged titanium exclusive. Um, really just epic. Really, really epic knife. I think they're like 135 bucks over there, somewhere around there. Um, M390 blade steel. This jigging is really nice. We have kind of a, a faux bolster here with these lines milled in. Uh, lanyard hole. And really the star of the show here is the blade. Um, this blade is just unbelievable. Look how thin that tip is. Just unbelievably thin, dude. Like, this whole like quarter inch from the tip all the way up to here. Oh, you can't really see it. All the way up to like here is just so thin. So you can even do utility cutting through like thick material and it's still just gonna pass through so easily. It's a hollow grind. Um, I guess you'd call this a sheep's foot blade shape, but it's a, it's almost like a straight razor kinda, kinda look. Um, long pull on here. Uh, gosh, it's just so good, man. Contoured handle scales. Walk and talk is excellent. That thing really slams shut, man. There's a lot of blades sticking out, so you don't even need that, that pull really, but it gives you a little bit of traction. Uh, I just grab it, I pinch it right here. Gosh, this thing is so good, man. It's comfortable in hand. It's just really epic. Then the Ohio River Jack, the knife that kind of started my uh, started my uh, trajectory into uh, modern or uh, yeah modern uh, slip joints. Uh, this was the first one of the first. Well, let's see. Yeah, it was the first uh, kind of full titanium modern slip joint that I had, um, and I have all three. Or I used to have all three. I actually ended up giving one away, but I still have this one in the spear point. Um, this is this will always be one of my favorites. Um, it's just amazing. Um, it's a little more heavy duty than the Hedgehog, just a little bit beefier all around. Um, I kind of view this as like a work knife, and this more as like a, a fancy kind of quick, nimble slicer kind of deal. I mean, either can be used for work knives. I carry this at work all the time, but you know what I mean. Um, I think the uh, Warren Cliff is the best blade shape of the ORJ. Um, we got M390 blade steel. Uh, I can tell I forgot to clean this one off. Sorry. Um, contoured scales as well. The jigging is... Um, I think I like the jigging on the ORJ a little bit more. It's like a random uh, type of jigging, whereas on the Hedgehog it's kind of um, uniform. Um, I really like the random looking jigging on the ORJ here. It just looks so good. Now, sadly, the jigged titanium ORJs are gone. Um, He's not making any more in the future, if at all. Um, or I should say, in the near future, if at all. Um, so they're gone, sadly. But you can still get the Micarta ones. Um, I have a, uh, a little flyer right here. You can still get all these. So you can get the green Micarta, black Micarta, and brown Micarta. Um, all three blade shapes. Um, one cliff, spear point, sheep's foot. Um... And those are going to be gone too, as well, pretty soon. If they're not already gone, I'll check down. I'll check uh, before I upload this video, um, and I'll link them either way. But they're going to be gone soon because um, Austin, the designer of this knife over at Traditional Pocket Knives, has a new design coming. So um, he's not making any more Ohio River Jacks. He's moving on. So if you've wanted one, now's the time before they're gone, possibly forever. Um, Walk and talk, obviously, just really good. Perfectly centered. Such a great knife. And I'll show you the spear point as well really quick here. There you go. If you want a little belly, this is a great one as well. Very useful blade shape. Again, just the same great walk and talk. They all feel almost identical. Um, yeah, really, really excellent knives, and uh, they're just over a hundred bucks. Uh, oh yeah, and you can use my code Duty10 for a little bit more off. Finally, the uh, Jack Wolf Low Drag Jack. Um, it was a long time before I actually bought a Jack Wolf knife. Um, because they were too expensive. They are too expensive. 
Uh, but this one happened to be on sale um, for a good price, and um, I decided that uh, it was a price that I could pay. So I picked this up. Um, it's the Low Drag Jack in uh, black micarta. And um, look at this thing. Really nice, um, you know, hand ground blade, hand satin blade. Nice, nice, just super deep hollow grind on there. It's crazy deep. Uh, a lot of belly on this blade shape. Um, it's a good cutter. S90V blade steel. Um, I need to put a new edge on it. I think it, the uh, factory edge may be a little burnt. It wasn't holding an edge quite like I was expecting it to. Um, but I'm not going to say anything negative about it until I put my edge on it. Um, we will see. We will see. Um, I'm going to do another, I'm going to do an updated cut test video after I do that. Uh, I'm just waiting on some new stones to arrive. Um, this is a really uh, nice knife. It really is. Uh, we have titanium bolsters with the micarta in between. Backspacer, or uh, sorry, backspring. Really just excellently flush. It almost looks like it should be one piece with the titanium. Um, it's one of the smaller um, slip drains out here. Well, I guess, yeah, it would go like that. The second smallest up there. Um, it's ergonomic, you know, it's kind of a teardrop handle and it gets a little thin up here. It feels a little thin as you're gripping it. Um, but you know, it's a light use knife. You, eh, I don't know, you probably could hard use it, but to me this is a light use knife where you bust it out for um, doing some quick cuts, you know what I mean? Um, the walk and talk is nice, real stiff right here. The, uh, the shut is a little lazy, not bad at all, but it's a little lazier than uh, these others on the table, um, but it's not bad, not to the point where it annoys me. Um, it's just, you know, it's thin behind the edge, it's a great slicer, this blade shape kind of traps the material right in here as you're going through cardboard or whatever, uh, whatever you're cutting through, so uh, this is a great one, you know, I, I always... Uh, you know, the the 300 bucks for this is too much for me, but um, at the sale price, I think it was 230 um, that was uh, something I was able to do. So I'm happy that I finally have one. There you go. There's my favorite modern traditional slip joints. They will all be linked below. Um, the Jack Wolves are probably not on sale anymore. I'll link them anyways. Um, like I said, get the Ohio River Jacks before they're gone, and I know for sure that these are still in stock, at least for now. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, people. I love you. I'll see you next time. Adios.